I've got several passions, and of course one of them is real estate, but another one is San Diego and how San Diegans take care of themselves and each other. Whether it's the military or the youth, San Diego always steps up to help out. Tonight, we're at an event for a club that is very important to me. It's called the Boys and Girls Club of San Diego, and we're at the Marriott Marquis for their Evening of Changing Lives. This is the annual fundraiser that helps raise funds for 20 clubs throughout San Diego. It's a lot of fun, it's a great event, and I wanted to share the club with you as well as the history of this event, and there's no better way to do that than to talk to the president, CEO of the company, Danny Sherlock. Let's go meet Danny. Before we talk about the event, give me a little bit of background for the viewers. What, when did the Boys and Girls Club start? How large is it? What does it do? What services does it provide right now? Okay, well, if the club started in 1941. It was a okay. boys club, and okay. that was in San Diego. In 1949, a boys club started in National City. Okay. In 1952, a boys club started in Escondido. So not so nice for the girls. And so it took us, we were very slow learners, it took us 40 years to figure out there were girls. And okay. Then, and since that point, uh, it has been a boys and girls club, and we now have in our organization 20 locations throughout San Diego County. And what are the youth we're serving mostly? Is it mostly the disadvantaged? Are we in disadvantaged areas? Are Absolutely. We our organization serves uh, children that live in inner city, suburban, and okay. rural areas of the county. Uh, we have a high percentage of low income, 65% qualify for free or reduced lunch oh. at school. But we don't turn children away either. We have clubs in places like Poway and Forest Ranch. and uh, There's still a need there. Both parents are working to uh, maybe okay. uh, uh, pay for the lifestyle that they have, yep. and so they need a place for kids to go after school. Okay, and then what is this event tonight? What is, what is the goal and what purpose does it serve? Well, our organization was formed by mergers of four corporations together to create Boys and Girls of the Greater San Diego. Okay. Each of those organizations had their own event. And so what we have here is taking uh, those four organizations together on one big event instead of four smaller events. A lot of things have been happening politically, economically in the last year that have kind of put some more pressure on the clubs. Are you trying to offset some of that and what were some of those issues that we need to overcome? Well, some of the, as with California, regulation is yep. what it is. Right. And so one of the things we have is uh, we had to replace our entire fleet of buses that we use to go pick up kids and bring them to the club and also take them on field trips. The reason we had to do that is as of January 1st of 2020, all buses in California must be green. And we had older diesel, diesel buses. buses. They still were very serviceable, but that's not what the new law will be. Also, we're in the midst of the middle year of five years of increases for minimum wage. Okay. So it went from less than $10 an hour, and by the time uh, we got the five years up, it'll be $15 an hour. And about 75% of the employees of the Boys and Girls Club our college age students who are at or just above minimum wage. So it's a great great deal for them, but it puts a little bit of strain on the Absolutely, on the and a lot of the funding has to come from charitable contributions. You know, we just uh, uh, got to make those ends meet. Okay, and I know we our goal is to help as many kids as possible, but we had a particular kid last year that, that won our, our Youth of the Year. Can you tell a little bit about that story? Sure, we, our last year's Youth of the Year, his name is Isaac, and he okay. bounced around from foster home to foster home. Eventually his aunt took him in and uh, he went, he, uh, she lived near one of our boys and girls clubs and he was able to get involved in the club, uh, really gave an opportunity to change his life. During the time that he was uh, having his tough times in foster care, he learned to draw and especially learned to draw comic book characters. And so this past year, the boys and girls club had an opportunity, thanks to Beyonce and Jay-Z, uh, who did a concert here in town, to present a full ride four year scholarship for one student nice. uh, for college. Okay. And so we chose Isaac, but we didn't tell him. Yeah. So he went to the concert with a bunch of other uh, teens from the Boys and Girls Club, and right before the music started, they got up and announced that he'd received the scholarship. And that's a great story, and, and it's, it's kind of the extreme of what we do, but the whole goal is lift everybody up, give, give them all a better chance at, at succeeding and progressing. The whole idea is to lift them up, give them an opportunity to succeed. Perfect. Well, I know you've got a VIP event. You've got to go squeeze some money out of some people. So I'm going to let you go. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Look forward to seeing you later tonight. OK. OK. Bye.
silent auctions in full swing. It's not that silent, but everybody's having a good time. Bids are getting higher. I'm losing a lot of items, so I gotta go raise my bids. We're about ready to head for dinner. The shoe's already been a great success. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow morning, we get up and start all over again. Hope to see you next year.